what is up y'all jeffrey back here with another video for y'all we are out here working on some mobile homes soft washing a couple mobile homes i just got done with this one this is the first one on the lot and i've actually got a contract with this entire mobile home this is only one row here mobile home park i mean um i think there's almost 50 inside this park there's a couple more roads back that way and well i'll be washing them all so this is my first day starting on this uh contract and i just got out here at about 12 p.m it's 12 55 now so it took me about an hour to get this one done i used the tripod to get a couple side views of this wash but i think i'm gonna throw the uh, head cam on for the next one see how that turns out <laughs> Now these wooden decks and this roof is not in the contract, but I'm, all, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hit just that. It won't take a whole lot. Just to uh, make it look nice. Seems kind of dumb to do the siding and then the ceiling's all dirty like that. Get this soaked up. And we'll move around to the other side. And now while we wet this side and put soap on it, that other side is already dwelling. By the time we go back over there, I'm sure you won't even be able to see any of this mold. Completely rinse this ease. 
and go grab my pump sprayer and go ahead and spray it so it can be dwelling. Okay, I got like two, three spots I need to hit on this side with that heat. And we'll rinse this heat and this off. Let me check this real quick, make sure it don't need some more. All right. A couple little spots over here. Let's see. There it is. I'm just going to hit this again too. That fascia up there is still looking a little dirty over here. Okay. Let that dwell. Just for a second. Probably won't take long. Oh yeah, that's already gone. That's that heat for you. There it is. It's gone now. Looks nice and clean up there. Done with this one. Now, for those of you who are wondering what I'm using to clean these with, just some pool essentials, uh, sodium hypochlorite, basically. If you look down here sodium hypochlorite that's bleach it's at 10 percent most household bleach is only about eight percent per gallon so with this you're getting a little bit stronger concentration and i'm sticking i've added an ounce of uh laundry soap to this as a surfactant so it'll help the bleach stick to the siding and i'm using my pressure washer down streamer right here and basically since i'm going straight from here and it's mixing with the water as it as it pulls through the downstream that ratio is a four to one so by the time this stuff comes out the end of my wand we're only using about two percent bleach so two percent is enough to get most of the stains off of this uh off this siding but for super heavy stuff like these uh like the fascias up there it's so caked up with dirt and mold that's what the pump sprayer is for now this is a one and a half gallon pump sprayer so i mix this up uh to five percent bleach much hotter and as you'll see i'll use the downstreamer hit everything with two percent and then come back with that pump sprayer and hit these really heavy spots with that five percent and then come back and rinse it and it'll be all pretty and clean Next up, we got a regular old single wide here. We do have a tenant here. Just made sure to let them know I'm about to wash their trailer for them. She was pretty happy to hear that. Get rid of some of this mold up on the fascia. Here we go. There's the moldy side over here. Lots of mold on that side. And this side, not so much. So I don't think we're going to be using a whole lot of soap on this one get it real heavy saturated on the real moldy spots but for the rest of it just a light glaze and move on there's my soap and my suds oh start at the bottom then go to the top Stand 
stand still for just a minute and let y'all watch this solution just eat at that mold. Look at it. It's magically disappeared. Thunder. The lightning must be on the way. I need to hurry up and get this one ran. We got this one done pretty quick actually. I think this being my third one after doing those two, I've done figured it out and kind of got a method going down. Getting cloudy and kind of sprinkling out here too, so hard to see, but um, oh yeah, came clean, real clean. Took me about 40 minutes to get this one done. Didn't waste no time with the hot stuff. As soon as I put some soap on and realized there was some pretty heavy dirt in some areas, I went ahead and grabbed the pump sprayer, hit it with that 5%. That way I'd only have to rinse once. I think that's what definitely saved me. Saved me some time anyways. Let's come look at this side. This was the worst side for sure. Oh yeah, it looks great. Looks awesome. There's some spots up on that uh, fascia that are, um, there. it's not dirt, that's caulk from uh, trying to fill in some, some nail holes. So I don't know if the paint rubbed off there or, or they painted it. Then nailed it, then cocked it, and it uh, wasn't the same color. It got dirty or something. Yep, yeah, but it's looking clean. I'm finna check the radar, see if I want to move on to this next one right next door. Another double wide. Or if I need to roll out, if some lightning's coming or anything. It's not smart to uh, wave around a steel rod when it's lightning outside. So I just checked the forecast. Jesus, the camera lens is getting dirty. Sun's already out, as you can see. Yeah, we just had a small strip of rain go across us real quick. Um, I think I've got enough water in the tank to do one more trailer. This would be number four. It's another double wide. And if I haven't mentioned already, one of the, the one thing about this job, this contract is I have to supply my own water. Since I'm hired by the property management, uh, property management, they don't want me bothering tenants to use their water because then that'll complicate, you know, tenants are gonna go and ask those landlords to uh, take that off of their rent. So we just worked it in the contract for me to supply my own water. I don't fill this tank up all the way. That's just too much weight on this truck to be carrying around. I only live about 10 miles away from here, so I'm not carrying that water too far, but it looks like I'm getting about four to five mobile homes out of one tank. So should do all right. But yet yeah, we've moved on down to number four. I'm uh, running out of battery and I don't have my charger with me, so I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek how dirty this one is. It's really not too bad on the sides. Just got a lot on the fascia. Let's see what this side looks like. It seems like this side has been the dirtiest. Yep, lots of mold over here. Not too bad though, to be honest. Check this other side real quick. Yep, not too bad, just that fascia really bad, but all right, let's knock it out. All right, yo, I am almost out of water. My water line's right there you can see it and we are done with the fourth trailer nice and clean um same thing on this one with the last one we did the fascia has a lot of dirty caulk on it i think from when they were sealing not not only the nails but also that top part lots of uh dirty caulk on the fascia i hit it twice with that five percent uh mix and it still wouldn't clean it up and that's what i 
came to realize that's just that dirty caulk on there nothing really i can do i'll be sure to let the property manager know but here's the front side all nice and clean let's go to this far end where it's super dirty but yeah looking nice and clean here's the far end over here got all that green mold gone these faces actually cleaned up a lot nicer not as much dirty caulk on them but on that front side just go back and here's the last side of it ac side the back side nice and clean well that's gonna be it for this one guys y'all make sure to check back with me i'll uh make sure i record tomorrow's day of work as well and i don't know try to make some pressure washing vlogs something like that but uh if you enjoyed it make sure you're subscribed and uh see y'all next time